The vast territory of Iwichi has provided for the Cree since time immemorial. But now, there's a new source of wealth located underneath the ground. I have mixed feelings. Yes, I see the potential of uh, economy for this mine, but I also see the downside, what I'm going to lose, my lifestyle, our tradition. The James Bay Lithium Mine will cut through Tallyman Brian Wapanacapo's trap line in the ancestral territory of the Cree of East Maine in northern Quebec. It has been approved by the federal government, but that doesn't mean it's a done deal yet. The mine, proposed by the company Alchem Galaxy Resources Limited, hasn't received approval from Quebec. Before that happens, an independent environmental review body has to hold public hearings in affected communities. On January 24th, Wapanakapo outlined his concerns for hunters. This area where the mining project is going to be is one of our prime and key hunting areas. It's going to be affected. Wapanakapo wants to see more income security for hunters so they can get more equipment to continue their lifestyle. Every time there's a project happening around the area, for example, the hydro, the mining, the hunters are the ones who are most affected and they're the least taken care of. The Cree from East Maine at the public hearings asked several questions about how their community will be taken care of by the mining companies. I'd like to have a history lesson for Alchem. Is he a successful company? How many successful projects he had? Is there a storyline? Has he messed up his projects? I'd like to know. Consultations and studies in collaboration with the Cree Nation have been underway for the past five years, says Denis Couture, head of Alchem Galaxy Canadian Operations. Couture said the mine will bring jobs and revenue to the Cree of Iwichi, but lithium mines can pose health and environmental risks. Concerns voiced at the public hearing echoed those of Ernie Moses, a tally man whose trap line will be destroyed by the neighboring upcoming Rose Lithium Mine. At the public hearing on January 24th, he said he didn't fully support the James Bay Lithium Mine and wants to make sure community oversees the project. Couture promised that the company will continue the environmental and health monitoring process alongside trappers and the Cree Health Board. Rehabilitation money need to close, they will be put on the side right at the construction at the beginning of operation. So if something happened year 5, year 10, year 15 after, the money will be parked in a bank account and we cannot do anything with this account. Even if we go bankrupt, we cannot take that money. So the government will take that money and do the work. But Charles Isau, a cultural teacher with the Cree Health Board, said it's too early to tell what will be the long-term impacts. Tailings and all that stuff that gets into the water systems. And once it starts to get into that uh, system, then we're, we're uh, I'd have a concern. Or I'd be really concerned about the plant life, the animal life. Everything that we have in our, in our uh, indigenous life. Korea's have until February 27th to send questions and concerns to this email. Emilia Fournier, APTN National News, Montreal.